I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling 22. So happy that Kanye finally has a shot getting back with Kim Kardashian because <laughs> Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian broke up. Oh wait, wrong channel, guys. This is Whiskey Neckcore. Welcome back, baby. Fantasy football is here. So if you haven't noticed, the title of this video is going to be about bourbons we are bringing to our fantasy football draft party. 100%. Um, before we jump into those bottles, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we're, we're still trying to grow the channel, so any love you guys can show us is, is much appreciated. Um, so the bottles we're bringing, there's not really a rhyme or reason to a whole lot of these. You know, there's not, but I think that's what's kind of fun about it. It's kind of like how I draft in fantasy football. There's not really a rhyme or reason. To take a quarterback in the know, first round. For some reason, I seem to be able to get to like fourth every year and then like fall out. So clearly I'm doing something not right. Um, draft old people. You know, I don't hurt. do Derrick Henry as old. And CMC, you're going to have a good year. Stay healthy. Take your protein shake. Get in performance mode because I need you to carry me to the victory. Uh, but that being said, you know, because the love of my heart for the boys in fantasy football, I kind of wanted to treat you boys. So the first bottle that I kind of feel like I want to treat you boys with, a little Weller 107, man. We haven't seen each other. It's been all year. It's been a dark winter. It's been a hot summer. You have to bring that now. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to treat you boys. Okay. Give everybody a little sippy poo of the finer stuff. You know? I just think this is a great bottle to bring because essentially you're just basically saying, hey, I love you guys. Even though I really don't. Think you guys are really worth well at 107? I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat you, give you a little sip, only a sip, uh, maybe the first drink, because obviously once they start drinking beer and everything, you're not gonna disrespect the Weller 107 like that. But I think it's a solid bottle to start off. It's an impressive bottle, uh, and it's kind of like our fantasy football. You know, you start strong, you finish weak. For the guys I think that are watching this right now, we have to drink that entire bottle. You're not going to. Yes, it's gone. It's it's good as gone right now. Yeah. yeah. If I get a first round draft pick out of it, I'm okay with it. <laughs> All right, so the bottle that I, I'm going with first is going to be a little bit of a, a nicer bottle. Um, harder to get for sure. It's the Blue Run Reflection Series, uh, their, their first bottle. Um, this is something that is super approachable. It's, it's um, easy to sip on. A lot of good sort of classic flavors in there. Yeah. Um, it's not super old, so there's not a lot of age on it. Um, you get a little bit of that, that sort of barrel oakiness to it, but... Um, a lot of what it is, it's just got some, some nice sort of sweet caramel notes, a little bit of spice, not, not anything too, too crazy. If you're familiar with Blue Run, this is a very good um, intro to their stuff. If Blue Run was a football player, ooh, Singletary. And I'm going to tell you Singletary. why. Singletary. I'm going to tell you why. Relatively newer, not that impressive, but yet... He is making a statement year by year getting better. And I kind of feel that's like Blue Run's vibe. Like, it keeps getting better as they go. Here's, okay, I'm going to disagree with you hard. And it's because Blue Run is a new company and they have just taken off. Ooh. Anyone want to take a wild guess who I'm going with? Taken off as a, as a rookie. I think I know who you're going to say. Who am I going to say? Singletary. No. <laughs> Jamar Chase, mm. hell of a year last year. Blue Run's doing good things. They're they're definitely blowing up, just like Jamar Chase did. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. You got uh, any input, producer Micah? If Blue Run was a football player, who'd they be? Maybe Eddie Lacy, and maybe I, maybe I'm just being a homer. Maybe, Cheeseburger Eddie? Maybe maybe as a Packers fan, I'm just being a homer. But he came into the league. On fire, back to back to back, thousand yard seasons, and then he became cheeseburger ready. So, kind of bringing in a bottle that everybody can kind of, for the most part, get their hands on. John J. Bowman single barrel. I like it. You know, rumor is it's uh, the grown up version of Blanton's or the grown up version. You know, yeah. it's the, the age statement is what nine or ten years on John J. Bowman, and from my understanding, I mean, this is. Pretty much the mash bill they're using for Blanton's. Mm -hmm. um, and more or less, Buffalo Trace is distilling it, and they kind of redistill it at their distillery. Yeah, um, I think that was that was the rumor that I had heard, that this was actually 
Buffalo Trace juice that yeah. was sent up to John J. Bowman because I'm pretty sure Buffalo Trace bought them. Yeah, no, they're a Sazerac company, 100%. Yeah. I like this one, though, because, you know, if you're bringing it to your boys, you're still bringing a nice enough bottle that everybody can get their hands on, but at the same time, some people haven't tried it. Um, but it's a solid bottle, and I definitely think it's, you know, definitely a good fit for fantasy. Uh, Let's continue that question. If John J. Bowman Bourbon was a football player, who would they be and why? They're, he's not a player. He's a team. A and, team? And you know what team he is? You better not. Buffalo Bills. God. You know? They really were a nobody until they got a little money. And now, because of that, I really think they're on the up and up. They're making some, you know, some strides in their their network. You know what? I, I'll actually agree with you on that because the Buffalo Bills need a new stadium so bad. Kind of like I would imagine the, the Bowman Distillery is going to need an upgrade pretty yeah. soon. Sazerac's got the cash to do a little upgrade. Yeah. So I I could actually get behind that. That one makes a little sense. All right, I see that one. Yeah. You want to spoil your boys with a good bottle? This is the one. Tom Brady. Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. That is who John J. Bowman is. Here's why. If that, that's if that's Bland's juice that's then getting shipped down, Tom Brady went from New England and went down to Tampa to get them a ring. Damn. John J. Bowman is Tom Brady. All right. The next bottle we have here, uh, one of my personal favorites, and it's almost empty actually at this point. Uh, Old Forester 1910. Yeah. Um, like I said, no real rhyme or reason for this one. This is just kind of a... it's. Pretty easy to find here. I mean, you have to look around a little bit for it, which is kind of frustrating. Very good bourbon. It is, uh, the his, the story behind this bottle is that it's supposed to be double oaked in some fashion because this double was the, the, the juice that had gotten burned down in the fire of 1910 and they rebarreled a lot of it and released it. And it's real sweet, tons of banana flavors, a lot of good like caramel sort of, I don't know. It's, it's just like a, a very good sort of classic bourbon. Um, it's not super heavy on the proof, so if you've got people who want to sip on it neat, they certainly can. I'm sure you could also mix this if you wanted to. Whatever floats your boat. Um, I better not see any of my guys mixing this in our in our draft party though. Oh, we're all gonna make a nice uh, Jack and Old Forester. Yeah. Um, Old Forester 1910. If this bottle was a football player. God. I don't know. That's tough. Um, who was Doug that? Flutie? <laughs> <laughs> I would go with Doug Flutie. Why? Small guy, but damn it, you're reliable. You had a hell of a career. Oh, that's my Doug God. Flutie. I think I'm going with um, the the Los Angeles Rams offensive lineman that retired last year after the Super Bowl. Who's that? Oh, Andrew Whitworth. Andrew Whitworth. There it is. So, old Forrester, Andrew Whitworth, uh, been around for a long time. He retired recently, which is which is kind of a shame. But um, this is just kind of a, an old faithful, old classic, kind of like how he was for their offensive line before he, he retired. Yeah. Could always rely on them to, to show up and knock some people around. Hmm. I like that. I, I don't want to go quarterback again, but Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning? Okay. No. Reliable, always there, consistent. This kind of has a big forehead. Never it, wins. A, a five head. A five head right here. Mm. I. That's true. He's got a ring. Maybe two, he's got two rings. He got he had one with Denver and one with Indianapolis. Yeah. It bounced around too I, much, though. He's. He played for two teams. It's bounced around. <laughs> if you're a lifelong quarterback, like. <laughs> Steve McNair. Oh, what? Get out of here. You know? What's your next bottle you got? So I'm, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but you always have somebody in fantasy football that, you know, is upset that you took their draft, even though it wasn't their pick. Oh, or, yeah. They weren't paying attention. They weren't paying attention. Or, you know, they misheard you. Or maybe you got, like, the people that are, like, not with you and they can't hear you. And then you're going back and forth. There's always that one person in the group that's kind of salty about something. So I'm going to bring something for him this go around. And when they get salty, I'm going to tell them to fight me with fighting cock. Here you go. You're salty. Clearly you got some anger, you know, in your life. Why don't you take it out on the cock, the fighting cock? Go ahead and have yourself a little sip. That way you're really angry about something, you know? I'm going to give you a reason to be angry. And I think this bottle right here, 
gives you a reason to be angry. Who who are you comparing that to? If they're a football player, Raiders. The whole team? They're just angry. No, you gotta if you gotta go I mean, Raiders, Raiders, you gotta Raiders go Raiders in like the, the late dirt, the, the dirty thirty. Yeah, like late back in the day, early nineties, maybe like late you know eighties, like just nasty. They were just breaking people in half. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree guys. with that. One. About uh, Troy Palomalu because he used to just knock the stuffing out of people. Yeah, but like to me, like he, to me. He reminds me of like a delicate light whiskey. That's because he like, does like stupid like, head and shoulders commercial. He's like he's like a fine like habiki, you know. He's like a <laughs> Japanese whiskey, you know. He's something special, you know. He just is. There I will n- be no one like him. How about what about the steel curtain, the old seventy steelers? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I was even gonna go with uh, Hines. Mm. Okay, because as a as a wide receiver, I have never seen somebody hit somebody so hard. I mean, there are highlight reels of him just obliterating people. Just because he could. Yeah. Fight God. I, just like Heinz Ward. We had talked about picking a random subscriber from our channel to give a pour to for us reaching 100 subscribers. Yeah. Um, turns out that that random pick was was the kind of the creator of that group. So, Tony, we'll be reaching out to you. Um, you'll get to pick a pour of something up here behind us. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff. We'll we'll reach out to you um, so we can get that pour out to you as soon as possible. Maybe Tony wants to try the old Infinity Barrel. Maybe he's so. getting better. So it's up up to him. It's up to Tony. It's getting better. Tony. So congratulations. We appreciate the the love and support and and your subscribing to the channel. Um, we hope that we can continue to do this in the future. I know that um, one of the things we're really kind of excited about is being able to share some of the bourbon and the whiskey and stuff that we have because there's a lot of it back here. Um, we want to be able to create some opportunities for people to enjoy some of this stuff as well. So we'll be exploring some of that moving forward here. I like it. Until next week, Tater Nation out. Oh,